please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that like button if you like my video also click on that notification bell thank you domain controller what is a domain controller before we get into the domain controller let's find out what is a domain a domain is an area of territory owned or controlled by a ruler or a government right this is how we know the people when say i am the man of my domain right so i'm a king of my kingdom so basically a domain controller could be referred as a kingdom of resources that's how a domain controller is a domain controller controls major group services such as user activation service which is the active directory services a dns domain name services print services file system replication windows time service dhcp and many many other services they are all under the control of your domain controller so in a corporate environment what they'll do is they will um, make one server one primary server which they call primary domain controller as a domain controller of your environment that is actually going to control all the computers in your environment so every time you build a computer you have to register your computer to the domain tell the domain computer hello domain computer sir can you please register me with you so you could apply all your policies and all your rules and all your restrictions on my environment that's how the domain controller works same thing if you are in a, in a kingdom in a government they apply all the policies all the laws the rules and regulations right and you have to follow it if you are in a country you have to follow their rules and restrictions you cannot do anything outside of it maybe one thing is illegal in one country and the other thing or the same thing is legal so it depends on which kingdom you are in just like that the domain controller works the same way a company XYZ would have a domain controller and they have their own policy whereas company ABC would have a different way but they all have domain controllers so let's talk about domain controller versus the Active Directory a domain controller is a main server that serves Active Directory now I know a lot of time people do confuse domain controller with Active Directory. So please clarify this Active Directory is not a domain controller. However, you do need a domain controller to have an Active Directory. An Active Directory is a directory service which allows user to authenticate logins to log into the clients. So all the clients you have, let's say A, B, C, D, E, these are the clients and there is a server every time you need to log into client a b c d e you have to get it authenticated against the server let me give you an example of the u.s government how it works so people who are in united states would be easy it will be so easier for them to understand if you are not in the united states but i'm sure you will get you will know exactly what i'm talking about so in united states government that the whole government is like a domain controller it has three different branches and those branches could be referred as their services one of the service is legislative service another one is executive service and the third one is ju judicial service these are the services that are or they are under the umbrella of US government Underneath these services, you also have different subservices or branches like Congress, Senate, House, House of Representatives. In executive, you have president, vice president, cabinet. In judicial, you have Supreme Court and other federal court. So all those branches underneath these branches are like services or, or the different processes that run. But top one is always going to be the domain controller so let me take you to our machine and I'll tell you how it works so when you add a role or feature 
and you click next next leave a default it will tell you which way we're installing we're installing a local machine okay so you see let's say if you want to have active directory domain service when you click on it you see right here it's telling you this service or this role requires different service roles or different features and those features those tools are active directory administrative center active directory snap and, and command line tools remote server administration group policy management all of these roles sorry this active directory service would need that primary role that are that have other services associated with it says you cannot install Active Directory domain services unless the following role services or features are also installed. So in other words, let's cancel it out. Let's go back to our, let's back go back to our picture, our, um, our image of US government. So you cannot have a vice president without president or you cannot have a president without a government, right? Just like that, you cannot have a Congress without legislative or legislative it cannot exist without a government. That's why there is a dependencies. So I hope you understand the difference between the domain controller and its services.